no one's going to feel sorry for you. No one's going to do the work for you. The only person that can change that is you. So I'm sure many of you are tired of hearing about the Fed meeting, the 75 basis point raise, what it could mean for us, where we might go next. What I want you to think about more than anything is where we could be in three years. I'm going to give you guys 36 months. And how everything that you're doing today will affect what happens and where you are in 36 months. And 36 months is enough to see a lot of changes economically, the stock market, the real estate market, the government. We could be in a completely different place. But you will only benefit from that based on the moves that you make today, tomorrow, and the day after. If you're working a nine to five and all you do is come home every day and try to escape that reality, we're getting on TikTok, Instagram, or Netflix, just to do it all over again the next day. You deserve exactly what you got in your life right now. You deserve your reality. And if you don't deviate from that, you will deserve the reality that you have in 36 months. I know this may not be the bottom of Bitcoin. This may not be the bottom in the stock market. And this will probably not be the bottom in the real estate market. But I will tell you this. We are in a position right now to create generational wealth. These 20% dips, 30% dips, these 90% dips in crypto will completely change your life if you take advantage of them. If everything that we think crypto is comes true, right? If massive adaptation continues to happen, if Bitcoin eventually balloons right past 68,000, goes to 100, 200, 300, every single coin that's out right now, that's holding, right? It's been out for 12 months, 15 months, 16 months. Right, I'm not talking about your complete rug pulls. I'm not talking about little tiny coins that have been out for a week. I'm talking top 50. And within the top 50, right? I'm talking 99% of those coins. We can all have a Luna once again. These coins, guys, will probably be around in 36 months. And if they are, they're most likely to be in a better place than they are now. The reason for that is all of this, our economy, right? Crypto, the stock market, real estate, it's too big to fail. If it all fails, this country fails. And the powers that be, the 1%, Wall Street, they're not going to allow that to happen. You can completely fall back on things right now, open up what the market looks like in 36 months, and be in a completely different place, except you wouldn't have taken advantage of it. You will be playing no part in it. You will reap no benefits of it. But in order to have the opposite happen, you've got to do the work today, right? You've got to put in the work now. You've got to buy when it's hard, when it's tough, when it's bearish, when there's fear, right? When everyone's telling you that we don't know where that bottom is going to be, when everyone's telling you on the next meeting by me another 75 basis points instead of 50, when everyone's telling you that power is going to continue to push and tighten the economy further. Yeah, that's true. That may happen. That's why you shouldn't throw a big bag at anything. Maybe you shouldn't be buying a house today when interest rates are 7%. Maybe you shouldn't buy a whole Bitcoin at $20,000. But I tell you this, Bitcoin's not going to be $20,000 forever. Can it dip to 15? Can it dip to 18, 12, 10? Yeah, sure, it could. And if you buy it now, you might regret not buying a 10 or 11. You might run out of money. But one thing you should never do, in my opinion, is completely fall back from investing and go back to relying on your nine to five. I'm going to work every day, fitting into society, playing your role, playing your part, doing everything you were taught to do at school, right? Sit down in a classroom, wait on your time, wait on your schedule, Get a couple of weeks off in the summer and go right back. You're taught from an early age, if you haven't noticed, to follow the rules, to stay in line, just to do what's required and asked of you. You're not taught to be an individual. You're not truly taught and pushed to be anything else but that because they need you to be a worker. They need you to be an employee. They need you to partake in everything that's in front of us. They need you to borrow. They need you to go to school so you can spend your whole life paying off student loans. And they need you to partake into a 30-year mortgage so you could pay double what the house costs. The banks need you to borrow money. 
And to some extent, we all have to participate in those things. But if you're aware of what's happening, if you're aware of what the goal is, and if you're aware of what's required of you, and if you're aware, most importantly, how to get out of that, how to truly be free, then you have to really put in some work. What served me all along is to do that with stocks, to do that with crypto now, and in real estate. Some of the richest people that I know did it with real estate. They didn't do it by the book. Most of them didn't go to college. They didn't get their masters. They didn't work their nine to five. They broke the mold. And they're all reaping the benefits of that today. Their family members are, their extended families are. While most of us were told to go to school, get a college degree, so you can have a good career and some benefits. And yeah, you could have a decent life if you do that. But you're just gonna be in that box. And if you don't teach your children anything different, your children will be in that box. And again, this isn't to try to reinvent the wheel. I'm not trying to tell you I have the answer to everything, but I'm just so motivated myself to break out of that, right? To be in a better place. And every day I'm working towards it. Every day I'm closer to it. And I just encourage you all to think about your life right now, how you feel about it. Are you content? Not just financially, but everything else. Are you content? If you aren't, you gotta get up off your feet because no one's gonna feel sorry for you. No one's gonna do the work for you. The only person that can change that is you. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. I wanna thank you all for your time. If you enjoy the content, if you find any value here, I would appreciate a like, comment, and a subscription, and I'll catch you next time.